Hello, beautiful people. I'm your travel agent. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. If you are watching on TikTok, please follow me. This video has closed captions available in over 15 languages. I'm here in Manila, Philippines. I am heading to Manila Airport to catch a flight to Legazpi City, which is located towards down south of Luzon, Philippines. The traffic in Manila is pretty bad. So if you don't leave early enough, you might miss your flight. Manila traffic sometimes give you a goosebump. There is only one security personnel checking hundreds of passengers' document, which is causing a, another traffic jam. Not only the traffic that I had a few minutes ago, but in the airport also have a jam and this process delaying the check-in process. The lobby entrance is restricted to passengers only. So means if you have a relative or friend, they cannot come inside. Unlike in America, where it is open to the public. If your flight is less than nine o'clock in the morning, you should be get out from the house or your hotel by 5.30 in the morning, three and a half hours before you plan. I mean, early morning flight, probably okay. Uh, not too much traffic, but if it is a mid morning, yeah, you have to, you will be facing lots of traffic. Keep in mind, this video was recorded right after ending of COVID-19 pandemic. Despite most countries lifting travel restrictions and COVID negative tests, but the Philippines has not yet done so. And people are still required to wear face masks, which is understandable. Traveling between islands in the Philippines, a negative COVID test is typically required even if you have a COVID test upon entry in Manila, that test does not carry over to other islands. In other words, you will need to take another COVID test before traveling to a different island. You have no idea how much stress I have, the PCR test that I have to take it. Thousands of passengers every day around the world having the same situation, but I think it has been ignored, the travel industry, and we are suffering a lot. This pandemic, some people taking advantage of it, politically and a business way, you know? It's now is a billion dollar industry now. Lots of tests going on every day in an international airport. You pay money, I don't mind people make money. The thing is that making money for something that it could be fixed and travelers don't have to go through this painful process. I wish and I hope everything get better and we can travel freely again. And we don't have to do this PCR test or something like that. We will be remembered these days for sure. <coughs> I've done my security. Uh, my laptop was inside the uh, hand carry. Usually any airport you go, they tell you if you have a laptop, you need to take it out from uh, your bag and put it in a separate tray. But here, no. You just uh, scan through it, go. No problem. You don't have to take your shoes off, like in the US. Also, no need to take a jacket off. Only scan your luggage and that's it. I think I like that part. I have been traveling during the COVID-19 pandemic and believe it or not, entering in some countries as is difficult as flying to the moon. Do you happen to know which countries are great to travel to without encountering any travel restriction? According to my own experience, these countries are Mexico, Montenegro and Turkey. None of these three countries shut down their travel system. so. Entering to the country, only you need to prove that you have taken two vaccine shots. And that is it. Flight is full. No air condition on yet. Inside the flight is really hot. 
they just announced that oh sorry for the temperature but uh, <coughs> why they didn't turn it on the air condition because uh, Cebu Pacific is a cheap airlines so cheap airlines uh, they try to save some energy the flight duration is definitely one hour and ten minutes as I confirmed by the airline the Cebu Pacific Airlines is taking a longer route for some reason I have no idea why usually take not more than 40 minutes or 35 minutes uh, by the way my purpose of visiting to Legaspi is to see the famous Mayan volcano which has a perfect cone shape and I'm very excited to see this Mayan volcano it has been a long time that I try to come here but never happened but this time I'm going flight has been delayed by over 45 minutes it is frustrating to think that an hour flight is now going to take about three hours considering that this is the only flight of the day it's disappointing that they can't manage their time and punctuality however it's important to remember that flight delay can happen with any airlines and it's not necessarily their fault there could be technical issues that are causing the delay or maybe some important cargo hasn't arrived yet I'm gonna go pick up my luggage to get my taxi to the hotel finding a taxi at the airport wasn't a big problem however uh, some other drivers were asking me outrageous price luckily an airport security guard he helped me out to find a taxi with the right price the taxi driver was very kind and friendly and I asked him for his phone number so I could contact him for my return trip to the airport which is four to five days from now. Legaspi city is situated in the Bicol region of the Philippines. The city is famous for its breathtaking views of the Mayan volcano and the mountain is in a perfect cone shape. And not to forget Kaksawa ruins which is must see attraction. Legaspi city has a population around over 196,000 while the Bicol region has an estimated population total 5.8 million. I have arrived here and nobody in the counter. Hello. In the Bicol region, the predominant language also spoken here as Bicolano. The region has a diverse set of dialects. However, Tagalog and English are also widely spoken and understood. This is my, my bungalow. <laughs> How are you? Fine. And you? Good. Good. Every, everything set? Everything clean? Yes, nice? everything is clean. Okay, and what is the downstairs here? Bathroom? Yes, bathroom. So bathroom down and up there bedroom. only bedroom. That's yeah. it. So if I take shower, I have to come down? Yes. Okay. There's no way to go from the no, no, room? No, no. <laughs> Slide? <laughs> okay. One bungalow with a two twin bed or one bungalow with queen bed. I like a bigger bed, you know?
When I saw this hotel photos on the website, I was astonished by this beauty. I decided to pay extra money instead of choosing another hotel in the town. I absolutely adore the natural landscape of this hotel. The trees, tropical flowers, and a small creek give it a very authentic and typical appearance. The hotel's design is also very well done in a tribal house style, like a tribal village. I really enjoy the environment here. The green grass is so lush, it almost feels like someone just painted it green. One thing I like about this property is the helpful employees from the restaurants all the way to the front desk. They're very, very nice people. They're always smiling. Every time they see me, they say good morning, good afternoon, and beautiful smile. That is one of the best assets for this hotel. If you like to visit the Mayan volcano up close and personal, then the best way to do the ATV tour. And the ATV can be arranged by this hotel and they're not really far away. They're like about a block away from this hotel. Yeah, my plan was to go to mall and eat there. But since I was not able to get a transportation, I came back to the hotel restaurant and tried to eat here. I ordered some uh, chicken adobo. Uh, so one of the Filipino dish. One important lesson I have learned is that if you do not bring attention to the areas that need to be improved, then they will not going to be fixed. I have some feedback regarding certain inconvenience that I experienced. I want to clarify that these are my honest opinion and are not intended to be taken as a personal. It is possible that other guests may not find these issues to be problematic. So here what I have to say. The room has no attached bathroom making it inconvenient and dangerous to go down the slippery stairs at night or during rainy weather. This unit not recommend for the elderly or even a younger guest or anyone who has difficulties with stairs. However, there are other units available in this hotel uh, where it has no stairs and they might have attached bathroom. The toilet flush knob is missing and look at it is already cracked. The cheap plastic trash bin is about time to change. I mean you know if you pay a good money high priced another hotel that was available then uh, you should be expecting a little better right? Looking at this situation, it tells me the hotel lacks concern for maintenance. I think I find this bathroom a little bit dirty and wet. Uh, the, look at the faucet. I look like uh, it didn't complete it. Uh, no hot water though, okay? And the GBO toilet paper is very thin. So, also another thing, if you take a shower here, and then you want to go up to your room, you need to go from outside. So means no privacy between bathroom and to your room. No shampoo was provided and there were no nearby stores to buy it. So making it little inconvenient. Get on it. Here, see the plastic? Because maybe people are taking shower, the water is going in there, maybe it's a damage. So think about it, when they build this place, they know it's a shower, it's going to be splash water. Why you have to make next to shower electrical switch? 
and that's the only light here and believe me it's stink here if you're a picky person this is not your hotel tropical background look at this so beautiful huh i mean it could be really nice if only the bathroom is a little bit better due to the nasty broken bathroom and air conditioning socket gap i didn't feel comfortable in my room because insect might come inside therefore i asked the hotel front desk to change my room and they quickly accommodated my request which is good i got a much better room now but the bathroom is still the same only the bathroom is not broken however it didn't make any difference because the windows frame and the door still has a gap which means insect is still had a way to get in this room lacks essential amenities wi-fi totally doesn't work here and uh, there is no any standard charging outlet so i cannot charge my uh, laptop or my cell phone unless i need an adapter also there is no emergency telephone available in the room the chair is uncomfortable missing a cushion also the bed sheet wasn't clean it seems previous guests used the same bed sheet i can see the spot keep in mind when you come to the philippines you must need a room with the air conditioning no matter which part of the philippines you go the philippines is located in the tropics resulting in hot weather all year round except in the highest mountain region such as baguio sagada and banawe where temperatures may be little cooler regarding the restaurant a restaurant does not have the facility to charge the bill to your room and they only accept cash unfortunately there are no other dining options available in this vicinity in case you do not have cash you will either have to go without food or walk or take a transportation few miles from here to the town after all this hotel offers a beautiful tropical tribal style setup which is fantastic in a clear day you can even see the mayan volcano just from the garden at the night at the evening time they also have a uh, fire pit and there's a camping style a barbecue in the other side where you can spend your time it's very romantic so which is also good you know after all all these things that i have said the hotel actually a fantastic place only a little small thing if they fix it i think that would be much better i'm glad that they changed my room uh, thanks to the hotel uh, those nice people in the front desk and uh, maid service they're good people it is uh, not their fault it is the ownership that who run the business and how they want to keep their hotel uh, good quality stuff at least reasonable thank you for watching this video is about to be end i will see you in my next video salamat po Thank you.